Good evening, everybody. It is also one of my favorite highlight events of the year, getting the opportunity to thank each and every one of you for everything that you do for our students. You do change the trajectory and the courses of thousands of lives who would not have the opportunity to get an education like a city college education. We provide and you provide the power to achieve a life of discovery, to develop that wonderful sense of curiosity, the, the kind of pathways that have been traditionally available to only the wealthiest of Americans. And you provide that to every one of our students. And to me, it makes all the difference in the world. Elena, my heart to you because of the work you do with the City College. We have had so much fun these past, I cannot believe it's gonna be almost five full years for me at the end of this academic year. But we have fun. We get to hear the narratives of everyone and get to hear what your journeys were like. And what amazes me so much is that when you hear the students today, they may come from different countries, they may come from different ethnic backgrounds, the stories are so similar. And so this is our opportunity to thank you tonight. Um, I just also want to highlight we have three speakers tonight. Uh, Kaylee Neal, who's a freshman studying English and history. Kaylee, can you stand? Uh -huh, stand, stand. Uh, Vanessa Oguero, who's a senior at the Sophie Davis School. Did you match already? Where are you going? You going where? Cool, up in Westchester. Congratulations. And Elizaveta uh, Zaslavskaya. <laughs> Freshman in the Sophie Davis. Now, are you a really, are you a first year medical student? Where are you? You're standing. Stand up, stand up. Are you a first year medical student or are you literally a first year student? First year student. That is cool. <laughs> so, and, and, and the courage and bravery, so it gets to take you the bravery. So let me talk a little bit, and I am going to use a little bit of notes because there are so many things to say. Um, first of all, um, any of our deans here this evening, I know we've had so many competing things, but I want to thank our deans. Deans, please stand up. There's Trevor Sun and Dean Barabino and Dean Liss and Dean Stewart and Dean Mercado. And uh, I know Vince Boudreau and I'm sure Eric Weitz are busy doing many other things that they do at this time of the year. So again, we were ranked one um, in a regional university in the north for racial and ethnic diversity in the U.S. News and World Report 2015 rankings. Um, we also, U.S. News and World Report, ranked five of our master's programs among the top in the nation in the Best Graduate Schools 2016 edition. Two of the programs, the Public Service Management Program and the Fine Arts Program, were ranked in the top 100 nationally. So you see the kinds of breadth that we have. We were also ranked number one producer of 2014 and 15 Fulbright U.S. scholars, having four faculty members of the awarded U.S. scholars. Princeton Review, of course, again named us as one of the best institutions and best value institutions, and Forbes named, Forbes named us as City College as one of the top, America's top colleges in the Northeast. We have many national awards among our students already. Antonius Mordekutas, who is a junior majoring in biomedical engineering, was awarded a 2015 Goldwater Scholarship, one of the most prestigious scholarships in the nation. The recent CCNY graduate, Sabina Pringle, is the recipient of the 2015 and 16 Fulbright U.S. Student Award to study in Colombia. Six students were awarded National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowships which are on the order of $120,000 to $125,000 to work on their graduate PhDs. So that's just a little smidge of the kinds of awards our students are coming. 
In the Division of Science, a team headed by physicist Vinod Menon has successfully demonstrated how, both, um, how to both enhance light emissions and capture light from metamaterials embedded with light-emitting nanocrystals. His work has been on the front uh, website of the National Science Foundation in the New York Times. He's uh, amazing. And when you come to campus, and I hope you do, and you wander down to the South Campus, you'll see that we have almost a billion dollars worth of new science buildings that are being opened up. And Vino was actually the first occupant of our new science building in physics. Um, biologist Anna Carnaval, uh, her team was instrumental in helping to develop a new biodiversity metric called phylogeographic endem endemism. And the field work involves in Brazil and molecular data analysis here at City. And she works with many of our City College undergraduates and graduate students. Let's talk about the Colin Powell School of Civic and Global Leadership. An 18-member undergraduate team won the Distinguished Delegation Award at the 25th National Model UN Conference in Manhattan last, night, uh, last month. Representing Uruguay, the City College team received the award for outstanding work during deliberations in assigned committees. And Val, uh, Valeria Munt, a grad student men, uh, majoring in international relations, was named the 2015 Diplomacy and Diversity Fellow by Humanity in Action. Not to leave out humanities and arts. Two students in the Media and Communications Arts Department have been awarded 2015 Lagrange Foundation Fellowships. They are the only recipients from New York State. And Joanna Ventura, an advertising and public relations major with a 3.9 GPA, has won a 2015 New York Women in Communication Scholarship Award. She is only one of 19 recipients of this highly competitive award. In addition, we have had many of our fellows, we have Mellon fellows, who have been accepted to PhD programs in history and in English at the top universities. And again, a lot of these admissions are coming in now amazing. At the Grove School of Engineering, three electrical engineering students won first place in the international competition at the UN for their venture, Smart Sockets, a home energy management system for appliances. And I must thank again Elena for our Zahn Entrepreneurship Center. And I know the Zahns were going to be here, but they may not have been able to get here this yeah, evening. Oh, they're on NBC News. <laughs> and, and, so what can I say? And Lindsay Siegel, the executive director of the Zahn Center, is with us tonight, too. We did our first TEDx, TEDx Salon talk um, here. And as Lindsay said, the center has been open for two years, and we've spun off 54 companies in two wow. years. And, yeah, really, amazing. And, I just have to highlight three of the engineering students that I met them the first year I was at City College. And they came to one of my round tables, and Hani, Ari, and um, Fanny. Hani, Ari, right? Hani, Hani, Fanny, yeah, and Ari. And, you know, a couple of immigrants, two of them were immigrants from Albania. And they came and they said, we have this great idea about building a community for commuter students in an app kind of platform. Can we talk to you? And I said, sure. So they came and gave us a presentation. And because you all are so generous, we were able to give them a $75,000 investment in their idea. They came back today. Um, last week into their account was an $800,000 investment. Um, from a Chinese company um, that is working on new platforms and um, for social media in China. They work at Stanford University. They have their offices, Palo Alto, and they, Google's attorney is their attorney. Um, these are three, three undergraduates, immigrant students that came here with nothing. And they're back at City College in our space renting space from us because they are now taking our students as their interns. Okay? The city is their home. So, what can I say? That's the City College experience, and as all of you have done, you come back home to City because of your experiences. Um, School of Architecture, Antoni Gaudí's famous La Sagrada Familia, 
is now on display through May 8th at the Spitzer School um, Atrium. I really, if you haven't been to this exhibit, come and see it. I think it's the first time it's been out of the Vatican, and it's the first time it's been in the United States. Um, again, also our award-winning solar roof pod was reinstalled on the top of Spitzer, uh, so you can come and visit it. And it's an amazing feat among engineering and architecture students. Um, the School of Ed, Dean uh, Mary Driscoll was named the Harold Kobliner Chair in Education for Academic Excellence. Again, thanks to Elena and the City College Fund. Um, Harold Kobliner was the last of the city's chairs of the Board of Examiners for teaching licensure here uh, when the Board of Ed closed and changed its thing. Um, we are also uh, launching our first Harlem Children's Theatre Festival on May 9th. It is presented by the School of Education's Graduate Program in Educational Theatre and is one of just 10 graduate programs in the nation. In the arts, as we can all tell you, the City College Center for the Arts, which was established last year, has its first gala this year. Coming up, when is it, Karen? May 4th. May 4th. May 4th. Please come out. And you will just love it. It's, again, part of our revitalization of the arts on the campus. And last but not least, Sophie Davis um, School of Biomedical Education. Um, just a few things. Dr. Marie, uh, Maria Felice Gillardi, Associate Medical Professor, just received a $2.17 million grant to study local sleep in humans. Um, and um, also, I have to say, we are in the process I knock wood, I knock my head, I ask the Dean of Provost to knock his head <laughs> for good luck. Um, we are in the process of transforming the Sophie Davis School of Biomedical Education to a four-year fully accredited medical school. Its, its mission will be unchanged from 40 years ago, which is the mission to serve the underserved which is a heart of our heart's mission. I'm sure you'll hear from our Sophie students. Um, we had a great site visit during the three-day big blizzard in January, and the site visit team was kind enough to stay at our dormitories. We took them out of the hotel because we didn't know that the subways and the buses would run. Um, it went very, very well, and so we're waiting on the meeting in June. You never know, but we put our best foot forward. So thank you to Maurizio Trevisan, our Dean and Provost, um, and I hope next year at this time we'll be able to do that. And if it's true, we will be able to admit our first medical school class in September of 2016. So they were already here as undergraduates. So I'll, I'll keep you posted. Everybody send up whatever prayers to whomever you pray because we think that this will be another transforming experience for City. And last but not least, the Division of Interdisciplinary Studies at CWE. Professor Mary Lutz and CWE students are studying the community needs of families and youth in our neighboring communities. Through her course, they, designed, uh, they defined the gaps in neighborhood services to inform the city planning process. And we have a second film festival. Um, it's the Film Festival of the Americas, Juan Carlos? Yes. Okay, and really, this is incredible film festival from all the America's shorts, long films, and we're in the process now. I think Goya Foods is supporting us and sponsoring us. We're going through all the sponsors. You will love the creative filmmaking. So I took my breath. Took a little bit longer, but you know, this is the time to share with you all. Because if we didn't have your generosity, Think about where we would be. The governor's budgets have not been kind to CUNY or City College. Um, we would be offering the kind of minimalistic education to get students in and out of the door. But because of you, we have award-winning students. We have award-winning faculty. We're doing the most creative endeavors. We're working at the highest level of the sciences. That's because we have you here really lifting us up. The school is lifted because you lift us up. 
So from the very bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If I don't get to see each and every one of you tonight, please know that I know that each and every one of you has contributed in your own way to making City College the wonderful college it is today. So thank you, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.